Hey there, I'm Waddles. So, are you excited about the new berry plant slash uh, food? If the answer is yes, you're in luck, because today I have what would be a semi-automatic berry farm. This will get you tons and tons of berries per hour. You could easily, easily fill up a double chest full of berries in no time. Now, unfortunately, you will need to do something to get this farm to work because dispensers won't grow berries as of the 18W49 snapshot. However, you don't need to do much at all. Let's demo the farm really quick, and then I'll show you how to make it. So using this farm is super easy. You just turn it on, and then you jump on top of this hopper and start bone mealing your berry plant. Now, uh, you just keep doing this uh, for as long as you want to farm berries. So, uh, you could leave something on your mouse and walk away from your computer, or you could just hold this down for maybe a minute and then turn the farm off and then collect your berries. Now, you will need to fill your inventory with some kind of random block like I've done here, or, you know, clog it up with items, but we'll talk about that a little more. This will work in the 1.14 update, and unfortunately, I don't believe this will work on the Bedrock Edition of the game. As always, if this tutorial helps you out, or if you like it, make sure you drop a like and consider subscribing. So, what do you need to gather up to build this farm? These are all of the resources and exact amounts aside from the things in the middle and the bottom of the chest. So that means two chests, two hoppers, and so on. These are droppers. This is a minecart with a hopper inside of it. You will also need some building blocks. The building blocks could really be anything you want, and you will need tons and tons of bone meal. So have a skeleton farm in your world or something. You will need lots of bone meal for this farm because, of course, you are growing the berry bush or the berry plant with bone meal. Now, again, you will need something to clog up your inventory as well. That could be a ton of different tools and stuff, or it could be just building blocks as long as it's something that isn't bone meal. So go ahead and gather up all of this stuff and then figure out where you want to start building your farm. So you're going to want to start off with a dirt or grass block anywhere. This could be really far under the ground. It could be really high in the air. It could be in a void like I am because berries will pretty much grow anywhere. Plant a berry plant on side of that block and then go two blocks below that block and place a hopper facing into a chest. Now you can make this a double chest or you could even make this a whole chest system because this is where your berries will go after you grow them. Now on top of that hopper, place a rail and then a minecart with the hopper on top of it. Don't move this minecart because this is what is going to pick up the berries. So if you're clumsy, go ahead and block this all in um, or don't, it's really fine as long as this doesn't move around. Now take some more building blocks and build three blocks up all around your berry plant. This is so you don't accidentally pick up the berries. So now we need to set up our bone meal feeding system so we don't run out of bone meal while using this farm if we're AFK. To start doing that, uh, pick any corner of this farm, it could be anywhere, and place a dropper facing upwards. Then break out one of the blocks right next to that dropper and place a hopper facing into that dropper. Then place your final dropper facing towards the hopper. This will be where you stand to grow your plant. Now, after placing the setup, you will need two more building blocks around the hopper, just like I've done here, so bone meal doesn't get thrown everywhere. You could box yourself in here if you're AFKing overnight, uh, but this is what you need at the least. And finally, it's redstone time. This is the last step. The redstone is actually really, really easy to do. Start by going three blocks out from your droppers and then create this sort of uh, like cross looking thing. Then after that, go ahead and go two more blocks just like I've done here. So we have five blocks going out and then two on either side. On these blocks that are sticking out and upwards, place four redstone torches. Then place redstone dust on all of the other blocks here, except for this final block right here. That's where you want a lever. Go ahead and turn that lever on to turn the farm off. It's kind of weird, uh, but the lever will be opposite. So if it's on, the farm is off, and when the lever is off, the farm is on, as you can hear. Now, this is going to make a whole lot of noise, uh, which could be definitely very annoying, but there's really not much of a way around that, unfortunately. Now, what you'll want to do with your farm off is fill up your droppers with bone meal. 
this is what's going to be thrown to you so you can pick it up so you can keep bone mealing things after you run out of bone meal in your inventory now you can fill up both of these droppers you can just put a stack in it doesn't really matter use as much bone meal as you want now you could also actually feed more bone meal into this thing if you're planning on afking like overnight or something for a bunch of berries for whichever reason and of course to do that you just place a hopper coming out of the top and fill another chest up with bone meal and so on now of course you could keep repeating this as as really as tall as your world build limit is <laughs> uh, but that would be absurd i don't know why you would ever need that much uh, but i i mean hey you could do that if you want to now to start using this farm of course you'll want to have some bone meal in your inventory and then something else in all of the other spots so you can't pick up bone meal and you know have it in the top of your inventory or something like that this again could be anything that isn't bone meal so something like this so, have your inventory look something like this. Go ahead and turn the farm on, and then just start spamming bone meal on the berry plant that you planted earlier. And that's all you gotta do. You just wait here forever, and you will just keep growing berries forever. And so, that's actually it. After a little while, you will notice that you have more berries than you would probably ever need. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw them down below and I will get back to you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. I'll have my tutorial playlist on the end slide in just a few moments. You should check that out if you're trying to learn how to do other things in this game like farming guardians or something like that. And if anything changes leading up to 1.14, I will be sure to keep you updated on whether this farm works or not. If this farm ends up not working for whatever reason, I will pin a comment down below and you'll be able to see uh, that the farm doesn't work. My name is Waddles. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Have fun berry farming and I will see you next time. Have a good day. Goodbye, everybody.